Becca, I think I've known you almost all of your life and come to love you and your family. And Michael, while I've known you for less time, it's not with less endearment. Being with the two of you tonight is an honor that I share with your loving relatives and friends who make up the intimate circle of your lives and who are here with you to share this moment with you. Tonight we stand at another new beginning as Rebecca and Michael begin their brand new life together, building a relationship that will stand the test of time. I want to tell Becca how blessed I am to have her as my wife. As you may know, we shared an elevator on New Year's Eve about five years ago. My friend Eddie was standing on the other side of the doors and said a classic line from his favorite TV show, Hi Becca, have you met my friend Mike? And the rest is history. Becca's beautiful, intelligent, sweet, and funny. Not only is Becca all of those things, but she also makes me happy. Probably the happiest man ever. Becca, I love you more than you know. We are so blessed to have you all here to share in our love. To my amazing husband. I feel like the luckiest woman to get to marry such a compassionate, thoughtful, and hardworking man like you. I look forward to this journey we are about to embark on as husband and wife, and I could not ask for a better partner. I love you, sweetheart. Today you will marry your best friend, the one you will laugh with, the one you will dream with, and the one you will love for the rest of time. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness and joy to Becca and Mike. We love you. With this ring, be thou consecrated as my wife, according to the law of Moses and Israel. With this ring, be thou consecrated unto me as my husband, according to the law of Moses and Israel. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May God's light shine on you and be gracious unto you. May God's face always be turned towards you. And may you always be granted peace. In these past four years, we have watched you and Michael grow into a strong couple. You are the perfect woman for him. You are smart and outgoing, warm, independent, and a natural beauty. We know these are some of the many qualities that drew Michael to you. You both truly do complement one another so well and bring out each other's best. Please raise your glasses as we toast you both. Here's to a long and loving life together all of the exciting celebrations your future holds. We love you both. Married life is an adventure, and you embark today on that adventure together. Remember your promises. Keep them with all your heart, and you will have that sense of joy and wonder that exceeds all you have ever known. From walking into an elevator and meeting my future to now walking down the aisle to start our future together, all I can say is that I am so excited for this day 
and for our journey as husband and wife to begin. Eventually we'll find our home with Pumpkin, start a family of our own. I love you and can't wait to kiss my bride, your soon-to-be husband, Michael. They rode, they met in the elevator and they went up to the same floor, got off of the same, you know, party, and then they stood across from each other like it was a seventh grade dance. And then finally somebody had the gumption to go over and talk to somebody. That was definitely Becca. <laughs> and then a few months later, they met at the, you can't get any more Jewish than this, I'll tell you. They met at the matzah ball. And again, they had great conversation, and nobody knew anything except for maybe Phil or people that live with him. But we went to Mexico on a family trip, and Mike decided he was going to go disappearing on walks to the beach or whatever he was doing. And I told, I told my wife, Cher, that I don't think so. He's talking to some girl back at home. And on the way home, we got it out of him that definitely he was talking to somebody back home, and it was back up.